Before that, though, he could once boast being the fastest man on earth and held the land speed record for 25 years. Little is known about the fearless pioneer from Surrey, John Cobb, whose pursuit of world records ended in tragedy. Well, 65 years after his death, his achievements have been recognised in his hometown. Jim Weeble has the story. They call him the Record Breaker's Record Breaker. And many records were broken at the Brooklyn's racetrack in his Napier Railton. Fitting that his old car could make it for today's blue plaque ceremony at Cranmere Primary School in Isha in Surrey, the site of his old home, bringing back memories for relatives who could make it. Even though it was small, it was exciting. You know, it was a relative that was racing, you know. No idea he was going to be quite so famous. Obviously, you didn't know in those days. And what was it like, the sound, the roar? Oh, well, it was. It was not, well, I don't think I liked the noise at that stage. I think it's fantastic now. But it was his land speed record that was his defining moment. Broken in 1939, and again here on the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah in 1947, reaching speeds of 403 miles per hour. He created the most advanced land speed record car we'd ever seen. That's absolutely extraordinary car. And he sat up the front like a bus driver and he happily drove it at a peak speed of 403 miles an hour. When you look at cars like this, you're just in awe of the people who would drive them. John Cobb raced this car up to speeds of 170 miles an hour around the Brooklyn circuit. There's no roll bar here. There were no helmets, just a cloth cap. If you had an accident at any kind of speed, you'd be lucky to survive. And his luck did run out. In 1952, attempting the water speed record, his jet-propelled boat crashed and he died instantly. The glories that he had won during his lifetime were not for himself, but for his country. For John Cobb was, above all, a great Englishman. So we have Leslie, who is one of John Cobb's relatives, and in a bag here is the most incredible piece of history. This is the original certificate of when John Cobb um, attempted to break the water speed record on Loch Ness, which then was um, given for some reason to my mother, who had it on her wall for a number of years. Now another mark of the man's life, hands on the wall. Jim Weeble, BBC London News.